weather starting to look and feel more like spring, it can be easy to forget that some people in Siouxland are still homeless. Sioux City shelters were able to help a lot of those folks during the winter months, and KCAU 9's Marina Bach reports how that help continues. Marina? Not everyone has a place where they can come in from the cold and those extreme elements, especially here in Siouxland. Two local organizations that I was able to speak with today told me how they provide clothing, a place to stay, and a place to eat for those people who are in desperate need of those basic life necessities. Since the warming shelter has been founded, nobody has died of the elements. Uh, before 2013, there'd be anywhere from two to five people who would, who would perish. Warming shelter manager Lindsay Landrum says their mission is to make sure no one in Siouxland freezes to death. In the last year, I'm not aware of any exposure deaths. Um, that can be because of a number of factors. Uh, that might be because of, uh, you know, having resources like the warming shelter. Sioux City Police play a big role in getting the homeless off the streets and into shelters. I mean, we take anybody and everybody, um, whether they are <coughs> physically homeless or just have no place to stay during the day or that night. I mean, we've had people dropped off by Sioux City PD. The warming shelter is one of several in Siouxland. The Gospel Mission also provides a helping hand to those in need. We've also got what we call a day room that we open up during the winter time for people that may not have been uh, a resident that lives here. The Gospel Mission, like the warming shelter, is open all year round. It offers a thrift store and a food pantry to those in need. Right now, both those shelters are looking for light clothing as we move into the spring months. And for more information on how you can help out and donate to both of these locations, you can go to our website at SiouxLandProud.com to click on the story. Marina Bach, KCAU 9 News.